Hello, Robin Cooper here, health coach. And I just wanted to um, share my, um, introduce my personal coach. This is Dave Blanchard, amazing guy. Um, sure look up to him and he's helped bless my life. And we were just visiting about something that, um, a tool that's really helped me a lot in my own health journey and personal journey. Um, and it helps me get out of my own way. And it's called uh, Stop Challenge Choose. Dave, would you mind sharing that with everyone? Thanks, Robin. It's great to be with everybody and welcome to the program. I have to pause for a moment before we go too far and tell you that my wife and I tried just about everything. Some of them I wouldn't even want to describe to you in detail to get this body under control. I was a linebacker in college and back then I was doing everything in the world to put on weight. And then I got married and we started having children. And if I had known that was the solution, I might have done that earlier. Now it's time to be working on that in reverse. And of all the things that we found, we fell in love, fell in love with Optavia and its fuelings. Uh, I've dropped 47 pounds, 47. My wife has dropped 42 pounds. It has changed our lives. And it gives us a pattern where if we're in uh, maintenance and we run into a little bit of a challenge, we know exactly what to do. Get back on program, the five and one, get back into, into fat burn and bring our body back into its proper weight. It's not just about weight. That's a big piece of that. But the one we were talking about, Rob and I were talking about is this one. We're on program. And we're all excited, right? So our, our fuelings just arrived, and we're going to do this forever and every day. <laughs> and the question is this. What are the chances that we might have some habits of thinking, deeply ingrained habits of thinking, that might show up? I can tell you one of mine was Diet Dr. Pepper. Now, I cut way back for a long time. December 1st of 2016, I actually stopped altogether. I haven't had a soda since then. It's been, been awesome for my digestive system. But I had a habit of Diet Dr. Pepper and barbecue potato chips. That was my go-to when I was driving somewhere. That was a habit that just kept creeping back. It was a habit loop, you might call it. So I would make my determination. We get in the car and we're going to drive to Bear Lake, for an example, and it's about a two-hour trip. And about halfway in, I'm just, ah, Diet Dr. Pepper, barbecue, banana chips, this dialogue. That's the concept I want to introduce to you. The single, the single most important gift you'll get from Optivia is this, an opportunity to shift these habits. because. If we go on program and we go into fat burn, we lose the weight and we don't shift the habits. Robin, what's the chances? We'll just put the weight back on. What do you think? A very good chance. Yeah, very good chance. You don't want to be in that space. So you want to take this opportunity while you're on program to begin to recognize, actually hear, and begin the process of shipping, shifting those habits of thinking. And this is the process. It's a big word. It's called metacognition, M-E-T-A, cognition. It's a big word. It simply means to step back and become aware of your thinking. It's a uniquely human gift. Only humans have got this gift. Uh, I love animals, puppy dogs, personalities, but not metacognition. That's a uniquely human gift. We have it, and Optavia gives us an opportunity to begin to use it. So here we are. We hear the dialogue. Barbecue, potato chips, Diet Dr. Pepper. We stop. We challenge. We choose. Now I'm going to give you some phrases to play with. When this happens, say this aloud. And Robin, you can do this with me. I am not my thoughts. I am not my thoughts. You are just a thought. You are just a thought. I will command and I will obey my own command. I will command and I will obey my own command. 
I want you to feel how empowering that is. Because here we are, barbecue, potato chips, diet, Dr. Pepper, like they want to overcome. We say, I'm not my thoughts. You're just a thought. I will command and I'll obey my own command. I'm going to stop. I'm going to challenge the thought. I'm going to choose to think differently. Now, here's the secret. I've now done this, right? I now arrive at the cabin and I didn't have my Diet Dr. Pepper and I didn't have my barbecue potato chips. How am I feeling? How am I feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> feeling empowered. I'm feeling in control of my life. There's a name for this feeling. The name is equanimity. It's a big word. Equanimity. It means peace of mind, but it's not like the peace of mind you get if you're sitting on a beach watching the sunrise. It's a peace of mind you get when you make and you keep a commitment, when you create a different outcome in your life. So we want to practice this metacognition. We're going to make the commitment, right? And then we're going to practice metacognition because there's a good chance the next day or two, not by this afternoon, there's going to be one of those habit loops show up. and going to be a habit. What am I going to do? You're just a thought. I'm not my thoughts. I'm not my thoughts. You're just a thought. I will command. I, the real self, me, stepping back, hearing my habits of thinking. I'm going to choose differently. And when I do, I'm going to experience equanimity. Robin's primary responsibility with you as a client is for you to have more and more moments of equanimity, that empowered feeling, that peaceful feeling. Because the more of those you have, the more likely you'll stay on program. And the more days you are on program, the more optimal days you have, the more optimal your health. There go the word entitled Optavia. So let us make and let us keep these commitments. Not my thoughts. You're just a thought. I will command. I'll be my own command. I will act now. I went on to say that if we don't act, we'll perish in a life of failure, misery, and sleepless nights. And we have all experienced one of those. So may we make and keep commitments. Practice this great gift of metacognition. Stop, challenge, choose. That's it, Robin. Thanks so much for your time, Dave. I appreciate it. And I'm here to tell you, as you practice this, it gets easier. So, thanks. <laughs>